video is a bit different than anything I have done all year long. And that's because I went back through all of my videos of 2020 and found some of my favorite finds. Now, some of those I have sold on eBay and other sites, and some of them I kept. Uh, so I've gone through clip by clip and showed you uh, what it was and if I sold it or some items I still need to list. Anyway, here's a little compilation for you. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be doing more of these if you like them. And I know you like them if you hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. So do that and uh, I'll make more videos that you like and I'll stop making videos that you don't like. Okay. Let's go watch some of these. This was one of my favorite finds this year, the McCoy Dog and Turtle Planter. Now there's only a few on eBay and they're priced pretty low, but if you go back into Worth Point, you'll see this sells mm, for about $40 and a few years ago it sold for as much as 70. But he's a keeper, he's staying in my collection. Okay, I see something. I see something right here. What are you? Have you ever seen a lionfish plush? <gasps> are you kidding me? Oh, how could I not take that? I have never seen. She's like grabbing it out of my hand. I've never seen a lionfish. This little guy stayed above my desk for a while as a mascot, and then he was offered in one of my live sales and sold for $20 after quite a ferocious bidding battle. But he's in good hands now. I saw something else here, caught my eye. The little blown glass swizzle sticks. Hmm, frogs and a bird. That's a pepper that's broken. So I got one, two, three, four, and an iguana. There's five of them for $4. I think I might have to have those. Now I did purchase these for resale and I would have listed them for probably about $29.99 and expected to get between $25 and $30 for them, but they ended up in one of my live sale mystery boxes for someone else to sell. Okay, so I just found this. It's a brand called Lily Bloom. It's very clean, I think for the most part. I've looked it over. It's got toucans and sloths. So very desirable print. It is $12.99, but I do have a 20% off coupon. And I'm pretty sure I can get at least 30 for this. Maybe even in the booth where they see it in person. And I also found horsies for $3.99 each. And tapestry pillows. I've actually been stalling on listing this because I love it so much, but I think I'm going to go ahead, get it up on eBay, and I will price it at $39.99. These tend to go for between $25 and $40, depending on the pattern. This is another one of those items I've just procrastinated listing because I kind of have toyed with keeping them, but I will be listing them and I'll probably sell them as a pair for $59.99 will be the listed price. These tapestry pillows can sell for some pretty good money, especially when they have horses on them. I am definitely interested in a lot of it if we can work out the price. This had to be one of my favorite finds ever. This is all of the glass I bought at one yard sale where the lady invited me in to see her collection and see if I was interested. I have been selling these pieces in my live sales as you guys requested it. So I will continue to do that and have several more pieces coming up very soon. This adorable llama canister ended up costing me $3.59 with the discount and it sold for $15 on a best offer just back in November. Very happy I picked it up and very happy with that profit margin. 
I love this little castaways thrift store because I always find a treasure like this Metlocks squirrel pine cone cookie jar, which I ended up selling to a viewer for $65. And I'm always happy to sell things to you guys first before it ever hits eBay. That's the trick. Gotta hit me before I list it on eBay because I can't take it off of eBay once it's on there. But yeah. One thing about making this video, I'm realizing I am behind on listing several really good things like this puzzle ball that I found at a Goodwill boutique. It came with the little elephant stand and everything. And this one is going to bring some really good money. Like we're talking like 80, 90 bucks on this. These sell really well and the more intricate they are, the better they do. And elephants are always a plus. This is another really unique item that I found at a Goodwill. It is by the Cash Family, Cash Family Pottery is what's on the bottom. And this one also went to a viewer for $30. Look at that, complete with the original poetic explanation on the tag. Gotta love it. This is one of those holy grails of thrift shopping is to find fire and light glass of any kind out in the wild. This was my first time discovering this glass actually out there getting my hands on it. This is the citrus color and each plate sells for about mm, 50 to 60 dollars in this size. So this is a very very nice find. I think I tend to reveal a lot about myself in these videos, including when I pick up something like this that I'm wrestling with buying because I know I'm not buying it for resale. I know it's for me because I love whales and sea life and seashells, but you know, I only have so many rooms to decorate, so I always have to wrestle, but I did end up picking these up. I love this guy so much because he sits on my desk and he torments a friend every week during a Zoom call that we have. And then these I found in the bin. This is a famous artist, Will Cormier, here in Vegas. And I sold both of these very quickly for 80 bucks. This is another one of those items that I really, really didn't want to sell, but I did go ahead and let him go for $22, but I'm having regrets. And then this I got to enjoy for some time. I had it priced at $85 and it did finally sell, um, but it was part of my home decor until it sold because I loved it that much. Oh my gosh, that flamingo is fantastic. <sighs> this is another one of those pieces that doesn't come along every day. I have her in my store, now on sale for $187.50. This was another case of being in the right place at the right time when they put these Talavera plates out that were all signed. And some are better than others, but I have sold the three plates for $110.00 which has me already in the profit margin of nearly double what I paid for all of the pieces. And I still have several really nice pieces to sell and have gotten some offers, but I'm holding out for a little bit better price because these are the type of pieces that again, don't come along every day. And when you have them, it's okay to wait and get a really good offer uh, versus selling them too cheap. Um, these are, like I said, these are really, really nice pieces. It's the Cayetano Corona signature on those pieces. Uh, it was the Aragon Pueblo on the plates. Super nice stuff. Super nice stuff. <laughs>
I found these Anchor Hawking Wild Bird glasses at Castaways. And you can tell I'm a little excited there about finding them. I sold the four that were different for $25 on a best offer and we kept one, which is fun because we love it. This is probably my favorite find of the year. This is a Victorian window, I am told, with dried flowers arranged in it. It is absolutely amazing and really heavy. I have this down at the booth priced at $500. I have been offered $250, which I didn't take because there is only one that I found listed on eBay for $2,250. This is a pair of Odagiri Bittersweet Cherry Mugs that sold for $29.99 within a week of me having listed them. So this was a favorite find. I purchased these six pieces. You can't see the little vase in the back there. Six pieces for $100 from another dealer and I've already sold the hobnail basket for $50. I love this guy so much. I have him listed for $29.99 and I suspect as we get closer to Easter, I will get him sold. But he's so cool. I'm looking, I'm getting, I'm getting to her. I get it, it came from Ross. But now that, that I can sell. And yep, she sold for $35 down at the booth. I originally wanted to get this piece and send it to my daughter, but that didn't end up happening. And I sold the piece itself at the booth for 50 bucks and I still have over a hundred CDs I can still sell. This was another piece I incorporated into my own decor waiting for it to sell. And I put a super high price on it and still ended up selling it for $400. I paid 50 for it. Coming around the corner and I see these, there's two of them. Again, it's at 222.5, but, uh, oh, oh, sweet. There's four of them. Yes, I will take these. And they sold for $39.99. This piece is known as Plique à Jour which is French for letting in daylight. It's very, very similar to cloisonne, but there's no backing in the final product. So light shines right through, it's transparent, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I sold this piece for $37.49 on a best offer, and it sold pretty quick too, as you can imagine. Just stunning piece. I had to get this guy home from San Diego in my suitcase, and I was a little scared about that, but he was so cute. This is Gingy, the gingerbread man from Shrek. And even though he had a little tiny chip on the back of his head, I still sold him for $31.99 on a best offer, and he sold pretty quick as well. He's just that cute. I found five of these Hans Christian Andersen Shepherd and the Chimney Sweep doll scenes, and I'm going to list them for $29.99. I have them drafted. I just have to figure out how to get the best pictures. That's my holdup. I found so much great art this year, including these two pieces by an artist with the initials of K.A. They're just fantastic. Fantasy cartoony kind of animals uh, they're amazing i love them so much i will leave you with this fantastic beaver plush that i found at a goodwill and uh he's listed for 50 dollars anyways that's a little roundup of some of my favorite things i have found this year and i'm really looking forward to finding so many more good things in the coming year and i hope you will share that journey with me and we can find great things together now with that go be profitable and make it fun and we will see you on the next one <laughs>